back to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make um, this simple work dress and uh, for that you might need about two and a half yards of fabric um so let's get into the video so guys i've gone ahead and folded my fabric into two so the first thing you're going to do is to check the widest part of your body so the part the widest part i'm working with is the hip which is 48 divided by four that's about 12 inches and then plus one for your seam allowance so that's 13 so that's why i folded my fabric into um like the width of the fabric is 13. so the next thing you're going to do is to mark the length of the body of the dress like the fitted part of the dress from your shoulder to the uh, fitted because you know that there's ruffle at the end right so the length where you want your ruffle to start so that's for me i want the fitted part of this dress to be 34 inches length so i added extra one inch for seam allowance of attaching the shoulder and then attaching the ruffle to the end of the dress so that's why i have 35 inches of length here so i've marked it here at this part here so the next thing you're going to do is to mark your shoulder measurement so the shoulder i'm working with is eight um is 16 divided by two that's eight so i'm going to mark it here and then I'm going to come down here and mark my armhole. The armhole that I'm working with is um, 20 divided by 2, that's 10. So I'm going to come down here, mark it, and then draw in my armhole. I give it a curve this way. And then remember, this is my front bodies that I'm marking. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come in here, come down by 1 inch for your shoulder slant. Go up here, mark your 3 by 3 inches for your neckline. Three inches of width, three inches of length. Because remember, this is a high neck dress with a tie. So mark it here. If you want, you can make the depth of your own about 3.5. It depends on you. If you don't want it to choke up, like come up to your neckline so high, you might want to come down, maybe make it 3.5, right? So I've marked it here. I'm going to also give it a curve here, right? So the next thing you're going to do is to connect this shoulder slant to this point here. So I've connected mine. So from this shoulder now, we are going to go back down again. Mark your, your shoulder to your chest line. So for me, that's about 10.5. I've marked it here. Then your shoulder to your waist. From, for me, that's about 17.5. Um, I'm going to mark it here. Then your shoulder to hip. And then for me, that's about 24.5. I'm going to mark that here so um and then the length of the dress so what i'm going to do now is to go back on your chest chest line the chest the bust measurement that i'm working with here is about um so the bust measurement i'm working with is 43 so i'm going to divide it by four that's going to be about 10.75 so plus extra one in that's going to be about 11.75 so i'm going to mark it here i'm going to mark that here that's the one inch is for my seam allowance then come down to the waist i'm going to i'm working with waist of um, 36 divided by four that's nine plus extra two inches that's 11. i'm adding two inches to the waist because i'm going to be darting it here but for the bust i'm adding one inch and for the hip i'm just going to i added one inch when i folded it that's my hip measurement divided by four plus just one inch for the seam allowance on the side but remember for the waist you're still going to dart it on the inside here so that's why you add two inches so one inch here is for the side seam and then the one inch at the center is for your darting and remember the darting takes in half and um, one inch at the waist and then it narrows down to the bust and the hip so that's why we didn't add one inch for the for the bust and the hip because the darting doesn't reach to the bust and the hip so the next thing you're going to do is to come down to the end right the bottom of your dress here you're going to subtract one inch from it so that it can give you that pencil effect that curves in and uh, like comes in after your hip so subtract one inch from it here and then you connect the line right you subtract the one inch at this end here what you're going to do is come down by one inch on this hip also right come down by one inch here and then from this line you can now connect it to the one don't go directly up here up to the, your hip line and connect it you need to come down one inch after the hip line and then connect it because if you just angle it directly then then it might have like an ear 
like it will have this kind of um, fabric popping out by the side so that's why even for pencil skirt you come down one inch after your hip and then you connect the line so that it has like a straight line a straight line at the side before it then curves down at the end so from here you're going to move and connect your waist to this side and then also connect your bust to the um, connect the bust to the waist connect the waist to the hip so now we are done I'm going to cut the front out and so the next thing you're going to do is to come down on your sleeve halfway through so I'm going to come down about five inches here and then I'm going to come in by half an inch so come in by half an inch and mark it this way you see but I'm not going to cut this out onto because I'm going to use this front panel to trace the back so I'm not going to cut out this here I'm just going to leave it for now so I'm just going to cut out the rest of the dress so guys as you can see I've gone ahead and traced out everything the sleeve but I'm going to leave this here after tracing the back I'll trace I'll now cut this out so the next thing you're going to do is to come back to your neckline and cut about maybe three inches down so that's what I did here so you see about two or two and a half uh, three inches down here just opening here I'm going to use bias to finish up this part here but before that let me trace out the back so guys I've gone ahead and traced the back so basically what you're going to do is fold the fabric again the same way you did for the front but leave about one and a half inch for at the center back here so that that will be your zip allowance so that's what I did here that's how I have this two piece for the back here so as you can see the next thing you're going to do is come down by one inch for the back neckline and then trace it back up again you see this is what it looked like before so folded this way I came down by one inch here connected it to this angle here the top part of your shoulder and then cut it out also cut out my sleeve so now I'm going to separate the two and then cut out this uh, half an inch that I, I marked here I'm only going to do it for the front I'm not going to do it at the back so basically the back is ready now so guys this is what I'm using for my sleeve so basically I folded my fabric into two so I have about um, it's supposed to be I have two of these here right the weight is 20 which is my armhole weight that's what I'm using here so this is how I'm going to cut it because if you look at the picture you see that it has puffy sleeve right what you're going to do is the sleeve measurement you want to work with right just measure your sleeve add about two inches to it to add the um, elastic at the end and then add about three inches to it that's going to be for the top part of uh, the puffiness at the top so that's what you're going to do so for me it's not mine here but i've already told you what you're going to use so let's say you decide to use about 15 inches for your sleeve you're going to add two inches extra for folding the end to make a loop for your elastic and then you're also going to add three inches which is going to be the top part of your um ruffle so that's the length of your sleeve what you're going to be working with so for me i don't have enough fabric so i'm still going to go back and use um cut out a piece of fabric to make my loop for elastic but i'm going to try to fit in my puffiness and everything into this part of the sleeve so what i'm going to do now is to come down by about two inches i'm, I'm not i'm just going to make my puffiness not too much so i'm going to use two inches for that right so after that marking that two inches what i'm going to do is to come down here by four inches or the four inches which is going to be your sleeve cap the top part of your sleeve so what you're going to do now is from this line that you've made here right you've marked your sleeve the puffiness right and then you've marked your from this distance to this distance is now your this part here is your sleeve cap so what you're going to do is to place your tape from this angle to this angle right and then mark a straight line i'm going to still show you guys make it make a video on how to make um a puffy sleeve so from this distance to this distance you're going to find the center the half of it so i have 11 here and half of 11 is about 5.5 so i'm going to mark 5.5 here so from this distance you're going to give it a curve down just like how you would draw your normal sleeve right i'm going to fold this side don't confuse you guys so and then from this distance you're going to mark the top of your sleeve you see so now you have your regular sleeve but what you're going to do now is from this mark that you made here which is this 5.5 you're going to take it up right so you're going to take it up 
so this is now the puffy part of the sleeve right so you're going to take it up so what you're going to do now is to cut it out let me show you guys something so after cutting this out right let's say this is now your sleeve this is how your sleeve looks right now what you're going to do is when you go to sew you're going to gather up this top part here you're going to notch first of all notch it here i'm going to make a separate video and explain how to make uh, a puffy sleeve so you're going to gather this top part here so that's how you're going to get your um, puffiness you see you're going to gather this top part here and then gradually add in your sleeve how you would normally do it so now this two inches is now going to give you that puffiness at the top so after that i'm not going to angle this here like you know how you normally reduce it here because it's going to be a puffy sleeve so i'm just going to leave it the width that it has here all i have to do now is to go attach a band to it and then pass um that's going to be where i'll pass my elastic but if you already did yours from the beginning you don't have to attach any band all you have to do is go to the sewing machine and fold that two inches and make a loop for your elastic but like i said before my fabric is not enough so i just have to go back and put in more fabric at the end so guys i've also gone ahead and uh, um, cut out what i'm going to use for my um uh ruffle at the bottom of the dress so the length i'm working with here is about um 7.5 i want to be um left with six inches when i'm done so i added extra 1.5 to it so six inches that will have when i'm done plus the 34 inches i have as my dress length that's going to as the body of the dress so all together i'm going to be working with 40 inches as the total length of this dress so you see i have enough fabric here to gather the the width i have a, like enough here to gather to gather the bottom of the dress so you have to cut as much as you would need you can cut two times the round of your dress or you can cut three times it depends on how much you want it to be so after that i also went ahead and cut out what i'll use for the neckline guys what i'm going to do next now is to the first thing i'm going how you're going to start joining this now is you may be first putting your darting i've already made videos on how to do the darting so what uh, what you're going to do now is you see how this this piece that you cut open here so you're going to place a piece of fabric here right side facing the right side of this and the right side of the fabric you're going to make a stitch like a v following this line that you have here split it open and then tuck it in back and make a stitch on top and then after that you're going to join the shoulder of the back um, the shoulder to shoulder of each of them right shoulder of this here and then you're going to join the shoulder of this one here after that you put in your sleeve after putting in your sleeve you close up the side putting your ruffle at the end so guys this is the um, tie for the neck so you're going to cut two of this here you see i have one already here this is one belt here and then this is the second one so what you're going to do is to cut width of five inches or you can cut width of 4.5 it depends on you and then the length might be about 40 inches length so what you're going to do you see how i folded this one so you're going to get the belt fold it into two and sew it up right so it sew up the end like this and then leave up to about maybe 13 or 14 inches on sewed and then you flip it inside out so that's what i did here i i stitched it up and then i left up to about 13 inches or so here so you see this is the end of the belt here so what i'm going to do now is how i got the 13 inches i'm saying is what you're going to do is after when you finish your neckline of the dress so what you're going to do is measure out from the back starting from where this um, zip is going to fall in so from here you're going to measure out the whole neckline let me show you so this is what it looks like right now so this is the neck of the dress this is the sleeve this is the side this is the back here so you're going to measure around the neckline on one side because remember we put a slit here you see how i finished up the slit i made a stitch on top using this fabric here um so what you're going to do is measure out the neckline on each side so from this side you measure out down to this point here so for me i'm working with about 13 or 12. so what you're going to do after sewing yours this way and flipping the belt you're going to take the end after where you sew this right you're going to take this end here open it up and then put in this here put it inside of this at one end right and then you're going to sew it all the way to the back so you're going to sew it all the way to the back and cut off any excess you have 
so you see when you do that when you sew it you have something that looks like this so you have the belt on this side you also do it on the other side too so when you're done you have two belts at the front here so guys this is the dress here so this is the necktie everything is done and also this is it here so this is the body of the dress let me flip it over this way so as you can see this is what it looks like right now i also went ahead and put elastic um for the sleeve so you just pass elastic through the loop close up the side all the way down and then put your ruffle so back to the neckline so you see here is not yet done so what i have to do is just take my zip open it up and then i'm going to put so when you go to put your zip you're going to start from this band you see you see how the neckline is now my zip is going to go all the way from this band down to whatever length of zip you're using so you're going to start you fold your band place the zip so that when you zip it up you zip all the way up to this band so when you zip you're going to close up this band too so yeah that's basically it. so i'm going to go ahead and put in my zip and that's it for this uh, tutorial so thank you guys so much for watching Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.